Good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm going to introduce Super Slow Mo, high quality estimation of multiple intermediate frames for video interpolation. This is joint work with my PhD advisor and NVIDIA researchers. Given an input video, our approach is able to generate arbitrarily higher frame rate variance, for example, eight times higher or even higher, like 36 times. Here's another example. Unlike most of existing approaches focusing on generating a single intermediate frame, our approach is able to do multi-frame variable length video interpolation. So how do we do this? Given input images, we like to insert an intermediate frame at time step t. For this purpose, for each pixel at time step t, we predict its bidirectional correspondences to both input images in terms of optical flow. We then blend corresponding pixel values of both input images to synthesize the intermediate frame. However, not all pixels can, uh, at time step t can find their correspondences in input images due to occlusion. To this end, we predict visibility weights of uh, both uh, input images to control their contributions to intermediate frame synthesis to deal with occlusion. So bearing these ideas in mind, we have network design of our super slow-mo consisting of two major parts. In the first part, given two input images, we have a neural network to predict bidirectional optical flow between them. In the second part, at each time step t, we first get an approximation of a bidirectional intermediate optical flow. We then have another separate neural network uh, to get refined intermediate optical flow as well as pixel-wise visibility maps, which are finally used to synthesize an intermediate frame. Since none of the network's parameters is dependent on time step t, our approach is able to do multi-frame variable length video interpolation, generating as many intermediate frames as we want, using the same network without any modification. Here are some illustrations of intermediate results. Given input images, we predict intermediate optical flow at time step t, which are used to warp both input images. We also predict pixel-wise uh, visibility maps of input images, which are used to blend warped input images to synthesize an intermediate frame. We can see in this example, visibility maps help generate better interpolation results. Especially around motion boundaries, the athlete's arms, there are less artifacts by using visibility maps. Now I'd like to show some quantitative results where uh, 31 intermediate frames are generated. The higher the curve, the better it is. We can see our approach consistently generates better video interpolation results outperforming all other approaches at each time step. Our approach is also able to train a neural network to compute optical flow in a self-supervised manner without using any ground truth annotations. Here are some visual results. We can see our approach generates good optical flow bet uh, between input images. To conclude, there are two key messages to take away. First, our approach is able to do multi-frame variable length video interpolation, generating as many intermediate frames as we want. Second, uh, we show video interpolation can serve as a, video, uh, as a surrogate task for optical flow learning without using ground truth annotations. Welcome to our poster G21 for more technical details and more results. There is also a live demo at NVIDIA's booth that you can play with. Thank you.